five reasons why carnists rule family bonds. First, they are too arrogant to listen to their children when their children are talking about animal rights issues. Then the parents can't become offensive and say uh, that it is normal and national. And then the child say uh, that it is not normal and national because we don't need to eat. Then the parents become offensive and give the uh, child bad things for their good deeds. That uh, costs the child to adult feel uh, that their parents take them serious anymore. And this can lead to broken relationships with their parents. And that they want to escape from the parents and want to live with uh, family, uh, with the other family members. From an, the, for example, if they have an uncle that wants to listen to their story and why they are not want to eat animal products. Second, carnists asking in their parents on the vegan children, asking uh, their ch their children to respect their way to, of eating meat. This is the same way uh, and same logic. If you are um, born in one mafia family, and your family members, after you have talked, uh, if you, if after you have seen the other side of the medal, and you say to your family members how are in the mafia that the things for example um, human trafficking and drug cartels are immoral and have to be stopped and your parents say oh don't to me I respect your choice to not uh, sell people I don't I respect your choice to uh, not uh, sell drugs or if you go to time of uh, for the civil rights movement if you say for example you, have, you are a man and your parents are slave traders but you see uh, that slave tra that slavery is immoral and your parents say oh I respect your choice that you don't want to sell to slaves but you have to respect my choice to enslave blacks and see them like commodities This is a way that also carnists can break up family members, uh, break up families. Because they refuse to see something from the position that their children choose to see. Another, number three. Parents are so extremely myopic by, they, by saying that they even want to try their children to become, that they are, become vegan. That they need it even respect their choice to not want to cause harm to other animals because they think oh you cannot uh, be vegan even their children say something like uh, we have uh, a lot of vegans that have proved already that you can live on a plant-based diet and you don't have to eat animal products to survive some parents also also so nuts that they do that Or to say, all right, you can eat uh, not animal flesh, but you still have to eat um, other animal products like uh, dairy and eggs. And they say, you have to compromise with me. But this is also illogical because you also don't want to compromise uh, um, with if humans are the victims. For example, with the. Um, the Mafia drug cartel uh, comparisons. You don't say uh, in that scenario, oh, uh, I want not to sell um, people, but I want to sell uh, drugs like uh, Ritalin and LSD so that I don't uh, be completely isolated with, with you. But still, it is immoral. Even if your culture that you believe that it is normal. If you are not a victim, mate, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, you become pretty easy to uh, 
Makio victims make fun of their entire existence. Label them stupid and dirty. Just like people have always done. Um, at least since the time of the um, art of, art, Agricultural Roll um, Age. Um, something like um, 12 years ago. Because uh, on the time that people are becoming uh, exploiting other animals, the first sizes, if you look history, were the first uh, animal agriculture. There have also been the first societies that have uh, first slavery. Why? Because if you are already can uh, the uh, viral one century bean, it becomes very easy to take another step and go to one of your own species. We become very much easier. If we look by most to all psychopaths, 99% of the time, they admit that they have first experiment on non-human animals before they are going to kill humans. The victim is nothing to defend. All. The vendor don't care with any other victims. The victims are interchangeable. It is your pride ego, your carnist family members of vegans, that you lose your families, that the families break up. It is your pride ego. If you once listened to your children, it's then that you put the stuff away, just like a little slave master. Like a pretty little king and queen, an elitist prick. Maybe your families break not up because we vegans we stand on the right side of right. We right somebody that stands on the side of oppressed living creatures cannot be the problem somebody that is against slavery in the time of slavery and say that he uh, despise the way their parents act and selling black people he cannot be the problem the problem is the patriarch of the family the problem is the slave master the prick, the cunt, the cracker, the carnist. We are the defenders. You are the victimizers. It is your time to listen to us. It stands that you are an elitist, self-righteous prick. And I know this word is harsh and uncontroversial, but it doesn't mean that it won't be true. All through after past the three stages, slavery with women rights. First, it is, it is mocked and ridiculed. Second, it is finally opposed. Last state. There's no need to explain it anymore, because anybody understands it. Anybody make a plea and move forward? Think about it. It have taken 400 years in America and a lot of Western countries for black people to get their rights. Another hundred, uh, on the other 50 to 100 years to, for women to get their rights. Just now, gay people get their rights. What happened? Why not giving all living innocent beings their rights? Uh, humans don't need animal products to survive. That's obvious. We are 100% herbivore. Check my video about that. We are not long sharp teeth like, like this, like sharp teeth. Also something that, break, that carnists break the family with is because they lie to their children. 
the lie about that animal products are healthy and necessary to survive. Lying also breaks families up, you know? Why I want to... Res why I so respect somebody that have lied to me? Your pride ego, again. Your pride ego. Be careful for throwing stones in somebody else's glass house. Your art position, defense, life. You are to destroy it. It is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs and your habits, to deny other animals their freedom, so that you can harm them, slave them, torture them, and exploit them. That's not what rights are about. That's injustice. There is no counter-argument against veganism. Apologize for the way you have living. Parents of vegan. That are not vegan. Make a plea. Grow up and go vegan. There's no excuse. We have the same products that nearly exactly taste the same way like the animal corpses. That you sauten and spice and put vegetables to. Don't be ridiculous. Be vegan. What's the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on plants? Mate. I am not a politician. I say what needs to be said. No matter if you like it or not. You can hate me or you can love me. I don't give a f, f about that. I was always the child of the school when I was being bullied. I was not a popular guy. I was the nerd. That being bullied. I know a lot about history. A lot about mythology. By Odin's horn. Awaken. Your parent, your children are most likely are knowing more about health than you. Your children are knowing more about the health of the planet than you, most likely. If you are children that are vegan. All this then uh, truths spread on the internet by vegan activists like me, like Gary Orofsky, like uh, Emily from Bite Sides Vegan, like uh, Freely the Banana Girl, um, During Reader, um, Plant Beast News, um, Mike the Vegan, and Vegan Gains. And many others are spread uh, true facts about health, the environment, and animal rights. So maybe it is time to listen for you to open your eyes and see what you are doing. Somebody that's Stand up for something. No, most of the time, more than the people that don't give a fuck about something, or they say they don't give a fuck about something. I'm not give an f about what people think about me. I am not a politician, and I don't been here to be your friend. Necessary. I am being here to speak the truth. Nobody likes to hear the truth. Most people become offensive. Most people become angry for no reason. Only just because you attack their traditions.
but traditions, just like habits, are not necessarily good or harmless or uh, even worth fighting for. What are you fighting for? Your right to eat a dead, dismembered corpse? Look how pathetic that'd be! You fight to defend your right to the to have the right to consume or the privilege to consume a dead, dismembered corpse. That's what meat actually are. You defend your right to eat something that come drop out the asshole of a chicken. Loaded with shit, by the way. You defend your privilege. To drink something to drop out the others of another being that, that are loaded with pus, by the way. I and I let you tell about the past. Yes, it will mean my pleasure. In any drop of milk, there is something like um, 450,000 somatic cells. Or pus cells. That's the scientific terminology for pus cells. Somatic cells. Look it up. If you think I told bullshit. Or human shit. <laughs> Have you all ever the courage to look yourself in the mirror? In the mirror? I know. Most people see themselves not like a criminal. But it don't mean that you don't be one. I think most uh, pricks, politicians, they also don't see themselves like a criminal. They make instead to make a lie up, create some imaginary lie up in a kind of matrix or a fantasy land to protect themselves from the from the things they do. Protect our selfish little ego so that they can claim that they are good, nice, friendly, and civilized people. But that's what I mean. That's the reason I don't give an F about what people think from themselves. That's something that I've learned a long time ago. To not look people, not believe people directly, always on their words. Spectacular people in power. Who have power over one another. Because they're always lying. 99% of the time, I claim. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Boundless compassion to all innocent living beings is a mark of a civilized society. Racism, cockfighting, bullfighting, rodeos, horse riding, um, rode um, bullfighting, shark hunting, um, seal murdering, or Hunting or poaching. The murdering of whales, sealing, uh, whaling, all signs of an uncivilized society. In a majority, it's not a sign of being on the right side of justice, people. It only means you are in the majority. Just like the majority of slave masters. Oh, and we're all right. The majority is no one else, right? The majority is just the majority. And if there is a victim that's been oppressed by the majority, then the majority is wrong. The majority of, ma of men were not right because. There are the majority of men. The majority of whites 
were not rights in the time of slavery. It would have taken a long time, sadly. And only when they have watched it from the position of the victims, from the position of the slaves, then some will change. Like um, the great hum um, humorist, like the great humorist and writer, um, Mark Twain, born in a racist society, but I've breaked away from his racist beliefs and even for most of his species' beliefs. He was, a vegan, he was an ethical vegetarian and I think if you uh, look to his deeds, what he have eats, I think you can say that he was vegan. If you was... Because in that time we have not the terminology of vegan. He was also one of the members of the anti fifth section uh, society in that time. So, that's proof that sane persons can break free from one uncivilized society's mind system. Also, the burn, the abolishing of burning widows from the dead husbands in India, Sati, proved that people can break free from one immoral system. I don't understand why. People always want to make excuses for things that they also don't want that others make when they are a victim. How can you ask for something that you are not willing to give yourself? Maybe. When you're suffering, laying on your dead bed, asking for mercy, maybe that's the words of... of uh, Arthur, Arthur, uh, Arthur, Matthew Scully of Dominion, ring in your eye, in your ear. How can you ask for something that you are not willing to give yourself? Maybe, no. You will understand how it feels to be treated like nothing. Like your life don't matter, with it do. I'm gonna put them up on the screen so we can all see it clearly. You guys like bacon? Light Life, smart bacon. Bacon made from soy. This company, Light Life, also makes smoky tempeh bacon. Now, tempeh is a fermented version of soy, so it tastes a little different than the other stuff, but keep in mind, I would not recommend products to you if they didn't taste fantastic. I am trying to win you over. So you go veg. I'm not showing you every product we have. Some of our products suck. I'm showing you the best of the best. And when I say some of our products suck, don't act like there aren't shitty Chinese restaurants, nasty pizza places, and disgusting hamburger joints, okay? It works both ways. If it's made great, no matter what it is, it tastes great. If not, it's going to stink. Light Life also has soy chicken strips and steak strips as well. They also have a full line of deli meats. Turkey, bologna, and ham, you cannot tell the difference by sight, taste, or texture. Small company called Melissa's has chorizo, vegan chorizo. Energy bars, like Cliff Bars, Luna Bars, and a new bar just came out called Pro Bar, might not have seen that one yet. They're all vegan, and many other companies have a vegan energy bar as well. Now remember, when you go veg, you don't give up anything. You got the vegan version of stuff, or eat things that are truly natural, like fruits and vegetables, or beans and lentils. You like turkey? We got you covered. My favorite product, tofurkey. <laughs> Tofu turkey, stuffing on the inside. Looks, smells, and tastes like turkey. Gotta slice it with a knife. But guess what? 
You know, turkey had to suffer and die for this. Tofurkey also has tofurkey slices, six different flavors of tofurkey slices. Tofurkey also has tempeh strips. Remember I talked about the fake and bacon with light light tempeh? So they have some tempeh products too. Tofurkey also has Italian sausage, beer brats, and there seems to be an addiction in our society for beef jerky. I don't know what the hell is going on with everybody's taste buds. Everybody's lost their minds, but we got you covered. Tofurkey jerky. Anything you're looking for, we've got that stuff veganized. And many other companies have a vegan jerky as well. The absolute best company on the market right now is It's All Good Gardein Protein. That is one of their chicken dishes. That is two of their chicken dishes. Three chicken dishes. They have more chicken dishes. They have steak dishes. And they just came out a few months ago with buffalo wings as well. Trader Joe's, that grocery chain, they want to compete now in the soy meat industry. They made their own brand of soy chicken and soy steak strips. There's a company called Vegetarian Plus, and they have vegan citrus spare ribs. And Gardenburger has had riblets, mock ribs, for over 10 years. I can't tell you how many of my meat-eating friends and family members I flat out fooled with this stuff. And this company also has shrimp, uh, kung pao chicken, orange chicken, and tuna rolls as well. Now, I mentioned wheat meat earlier. I don't think people really understand what it is. There's actually a name for it. It's called Satan. Not Satan. Satan. <laughs> I want to give this stuff a try too. And they now have flavored Satan on the market too by Upton's, ground beef style, chorizo style. They also have an Italian sausage flavor as well. Some other favorite companies Nate's Meatless Meatballs. Now, I know you guys have seen veggie burgers before, probably Boca. But if you don't like Boca, good news, there's Amy's, Morningstar Farms, Dr. Prager's, Sunshine Burgers, and Garden Burger, all the different taste and texture. If you're looking for no soy, different kind of mock meat in your diet, new company called Bahama Rice Burgers, burgers from rice. They also have sausage and meatballs made out of rice as well. Another company with a no soy, different kind of mock meat taste. A small company from Cincinnati called Five Star Foodies has artichoke burgers. My new favorite veggie burger by far, burgers from artichokes. They also have a harvest roast. It says vegetarian, but it is vegan. It's a fake turkey with fake skin around it, too. Now, Amy's is on the market. I know you've seen her stuff. She's got a ton of stuff. But keep in mind, most of her stuff is only vegetarian. Still has eggs and cheese and other uh, animal byproducts in there. But one of her vegan stuff, tofu scramblers, a fake egg. A hot pocket that actually tastes good and it's good for you, too. Amy's also has rice macaroni with diet cheese, a brand new vegan cheese on the market. Diet cheese, which you can find in Whole Foods right now. Comes in two different flavors. A lot of people are going crazy for the diet cheese cheese. Uh, I still like Follow Your Heart, which has four different flavors of vegan cheese. Comes in a big block and it melts. Now sometimes you got to be creative with this stuff. Light Life also has <laughs> vegan pepperoni, which is ready to eat directly out of the bag. If you get some of this vegan pepperoni, buy yourself a Tofuti pan pizza with Tofuti soy cheese on it. Tofuti also has cream cheese, sour cream and ice cream as well. Before it goes in the oven or after it comes out of the oven, slap some pepperoni on there and you have to sell pizza. Remember there's soy milk and rice milk, almond milk, hemp milk, coconut milk, oat milk, hazelnut milk, seven vegan milks on the market. There's soy ice cream, rice ice cream, almond ice cream, and coconut milk ice cream and ice cream bars by So Delicious. And let me just say this, you have never in your life had ice cream until you've had the coconut milk ice cream by So Delicious. It's not about me or about you. It is about living, innocent living beings who have nothing harmed you ever, once in your whole life. Stop being a passive-aggressive Talk nice guy. You can still be a good talk nice guy, but then you have to be uh, still uh, stopping consuming animal products. Stop playing lip service to all the injustice of the world. Stop playing lip service to uh, all the problems of the world. Stop break you blinders away 